Good morning, everybody. It is March 1st. It's opening day of trout season. We're here at Merrimack Spring Park. It's such a cool opportunity. We got invited actually by the park itself to come and showcase how cool opening day is here. So it's about 4.45 in the morning. Ready? We're gonna throw some snacks in our bag and we're gonna go out and start filming here in just a few minutes. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Merrimack. About 25 years. Tell me about one of your favorite memories. Catch your trout. <laughs> well, every year for the last easy 10, we've been the first three, four. First person online every year. Oh, have you really? Come here about 11, 30, 12 o'clock at night. Do you really? That's awesome. So you guys sat in your cars the whole night and just hung out? Oh, yep. yeah. That's awesome. Just hung out and talked? Yep. Chilled? We get together and just kind of hang out in the vehicle and tell stories. Oh my God. Good question. Long time? 31 years. Have you really? I started out in 1990. Who brought you here first? My, my younger brother. Awesome. Out of uh, 31 years, I've been here 24 or 27 out of 31. On opening day or just? Opening day. Oh, that's so cool. St. James is a beautiful park and the people here are awesome. That's awesome. And I am going to catch fish today. What's your favorite thing about opening day? Just the chaos. <laughs> Don't tell my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get pushed in. <laughs> be a little chilly. Oh, for a long time. We long would come time. down here when we were kids. And we just kind of took a break for a little while. And as we get older, we got back into it again. And we've been coming eight or nine years now. So it's a blast. Opening day, just so much fun. It's a good time. So I thought I might just share a little bit of context this morning on what brought me down here or why I love the Missouri Trout Parks in general. So four years ago when Sarah and I got together, uh, her dad brought us on a camping trip to Montauk State Park and we went trout fishing and prior to that I'd never really been into fishing. I always just thought uh, you were sitting and stared at a bobber you know, in a boring lake and most of it was done during the summer months when it's really hot. And we had an absolutely incredible time that weekend and it really launched uh, a tradition for Sarah and her dad and I to go trout fishing together. And these parks are such an incredible resource for the state of Missouri, for the Missouri Department of Conservation. This particular park is managed by the James Foundation and owned by the James Foundation, a nonprofit organization that owned this land in the first place uh, or a family that owned it and then entrusted it to uh, a, a group of people to make sure that it stayed as consistent and as original uh, to kind of the beauty of the landscape as it could be. So I think they're doing a really good job managing this park. There's some really, really great uh, fishing here and some really beautiful landscape that you get to explore and kind of uh, participate in, but it's super accessible. Uh, there's parking lots all over the place that you can get to the river really easily and you can you know, bring your gear down here. It really makes it a very social event. There's lots of fun people having fun. You can tell that it is definitely a tradition thing like Sarah and Doug and I have been doing for the last several years. One of the things that makes this park also really fun and unique is its proximity to St. Louis. It's really only about an hour and 45 minutes away. So a really easy trip, even if you just wanna come down for the day and fish and not camp like we did. So I wanted to provide a little bit of context on why I think Missouri Trout Parks, uh, Merrimack Spring Park being one of the four are so special and why we have this great resource where families and individuals like myself that don't have a ton of experience fishing can come 
and enjoy the resource and have a lot of success and learn about you know river management and learn about the species and learn about conservation and then take that forward and hopefully you know grow in your practice of that so I'm really appreciative of the Missouri Department of Conservation uh, as well as the James Foundation that manages this particular property so uh, just thought I'd give you a little context for why we're down here and what makes this so special. <laughs> this is great, great yeah. turnout. You know, I think everybody waits for this tradition and the first unofficial day of spring here. So, hope everybody gets their limit of five. So what did I learn about opening day at Merrimack Spring Park? I learned that you can't have a 20 year tradition with your family or your friends if you don't start now. I learned that most people were more interested in just being there and celebrating the start of trout season than they were really concerned about catching their limit. I learned that even though the park sold close to a thousand tags, there was plenty of space for everyone to find a spot and catch some fish. I learned that the James Foundation is staffed with some really incredible people that work very closely with the Missouri Department of Conservation to provide a great environment for anglers to have good success catching trout. We had a great time on opening day and it's an experience I hope you get to enjoy sometime as well because it is definitely a memory that I'm not going to forget anytime soon.